So the box just arrived and you're excited to set up your new Mac, as you should be. The unboxing experience is so fun, so savor the moment. For desktops, just connect the power cord and press the power button on the Mac. For portables, it's very similar. Connect the cord to an outlet and the charger will connect to that portable machine. Open the lid and press the power key. You'll then be presented with the setup assistant which is what we see here on this support article from Apple. If you did purchase the computer used and the previous owners did not erase it before giving it to you, you can use the article HT208496 and this will take you through the steps of how to erase the Mac. After erasing the machine and reinstalling Mac OS, when you turn it on, you should be presented with the setup assistant. The one warning I have, make sure before you erase the machine that you verify the data that's on that computer is okay to be erased. You're going to be erasing all of the user accounts and everything else that was installed on that Mac, including applications, and you'll need to reinstall all of those. So the way the setup works, it'll first check for an internet connection, and you'll want to only plug in essential devices. So if it is an iMac or a MacBook, I would recommend just connecting the power cord, and that's it. The newer iMacs all come with wireless mice and keyboards, so you'll use a wireless connection. You can just hit the little switch that's on those devices to get them connected. The setup assistant will then take you through, like I said, a series of questions, asking you to set up things like your Apple ID, if you want to use File Vault iCloud Keychain, a whole bunch of questions on there. So just follow those steps. Usually on those pages, you'll see a little question mark button that you can click on that will show you a help document to provide more information. So if something is confusing on there, use those support documents and those help menus to get the answers to your questions. And then after you're done, the Mac's going to be set up and it should check for any software updates that are available as well. With the user account created, we do come to the end of the setup assistant and you're going to be presented with the desktop. So congratulations, you got your Mac set up. Now it's time to tour the interface and we're going to do that in the next video.